I'd say I was very mediocre. I wasn't an angel by any means, but I wasn't naughty as such. So I started out at private school. I went to a private school um, for around three years, I think. Um, and that, that, was, that was going quite well, except for I just didn't really like the whole environment there. Everyone came from a really, really wealthy background, or most people did anyway. And I just felt a bit out of place. And it was just a long way uh, to travel as well. And most of my friends that I had at the time were a uh, state school local to me. So I, I decided, therefore, to move to that school. I moved to a state school, and with that, um, although I was with my friends, a good group of people, the, the sort of academic side of it just dropped a little bit, a little bit, quite a lot. <laughs> so um, grades at the end of school, GCSE-wise, weren't great. Uh, I almost cried when I passed maths, though. That was a big thing, passing maths. So by no means am I smart in, in, in any way. Uh, I'm not smart at all, but school school wasn't really for me, to be quite honest. I, I didn't really enjoy it that much, um, but I got what I needed. I got my GCSEs, I got out of there, and I ran for the hills. Uh, but after, after school, I went to college to study a level three extended diploma in music, um, and genuinely, best two years of my life, like, without any question, uh, second year especially. It was like uh, I saw my childhood film, The School of Rock, and it was like School of Rock, like living it out. I was living the dream, just uh, going into college. There was nothing academic really involved at all, so it was like heaven for me. Um, we went in, got put in bands, uh, just did covers. We worked on original songs, and I'm still in uh, the band that I got put in today. So I've been in that band for three years now, and I literally love it. Best thing ever. Um, so, so that sort of gave me an idea with what I wanted to do in my future. I wanted to do something to do with music, something in the music industry. I didn't really mind what at that point, but I just knew, I just had a, like a hunger for it. Um, so by the time college finished, I, got, I, I did really well with my own grade in college. Um, didn't quite get a distinction, but I tell everyone I got a distinction, including my mum. Uh, I lied. Uh, but... Uh, I, 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 was, I was wanted to progress with the band, but there's not much money in the music industry, industry, especially for someone like me. I'm a drummer in a band. I get about five pounds a gig. Five pounds a gig. Like, that doesn't cover petrol. So I've lost money for, for gigging. I wanted to do a bit of music producing as well. So th there's not much money in the music industry for me, like I said, but that's where property sort of stepped in. Because I thought to myself in my head, imagine having that financial freedom and being able to just go off and do whatever you want, no matter what the cost was. So that, that was what sort of got me kick-started to feel motivated to want to become financially free because I want to go off and do music. I don't want to be working in an office in the next like five years or so, for the next five years. I want to be financially free and I want to do what I love. And that was what really pushed me to sort of get started and go out looking for properties at such a young age. And I found that passion just after I left school. So at the age of 16 was when I started uh, like properly uh, going on right move and looking for houses. And yeah, so that also, also I had um, a lot of uh, support around me in terms of uh, knowledge as well. So I had Jilly around me a lot as well. Uh, there to teach me things and to motivate me to like put myself out there at such a young age, which is such a hard thing. People find it so difficult, especially at that age, to just get out there and just sort of... It, it, it's like at 16, I thought that I had to be like over 30, to be honest, to, to do property. I thought I had to already have experience buying houses, but realistically, you don't at all. Uh, anything is achievable at any age. If you want to do property and you have the right mindset and you have the right people around you, then sky's the limit.